everyone! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today I thought I would just give you like a little pregnancy update. I did a first trimester update, which was like a retrospective on the first trimester, and then I gave you a 20 week update, and now I'm in my third trimester. I'll be 31 weeks pregnant tomorrow, so I figured this will just be kind of like a midway through my third trimester check in, say hello tell you how I'm doing and I'm going to work on knitting this baby blanket for my son in my womb uh, while I tell you about him. <laughs> so the, the point of these videos for me honestly is just to kind of uh, have like a video journal of how I've been feeling this pregnancy just because I think it's like fun to remember those things and you know then I guess if my son is ever like hey mom how were you feeling when you were 31 weeks pregnant you'd be like you can actually watch a video about it because it made one you know? Physically, I have been feeling overall good, I would say. I have had three hospital visits since I spoke to you last. Actually, maybe I, one of them was before, maybe two since I spoke to you last. One of those was from a migraine that was causing you to have contractions. And then the other one was because I was having contractions and I felt a little bit liquidy and I wanted to make sure it wasn't my amniotic fluid that was like leaking or like my water leaking or something. It wasn't. Um, it was just a starch, <laughs> which is kind of embarrassing, but it is always good to double check, especially when you're at this point in pregnancy where it's later in the pregnancy, but not quite late enough for you to have your baby. I mean, if I had my baby now, the technology is amazing and I think that he would, he would be okay, but you know, we want to keep him in as long as possible so that he can be healthy. But other than that, I think I've been feeling pretty good. I'm definitely, I, I can feel my body slowing down. It's definitely getting to the point where I am feeling a lot more tired, especially during the day. My belly is sore and tight. My legs, oh my gosh, my legs have been so sore. I have had the worst cramps in my calves uh, just because of the extra weight that I've gained. My body is not used to it and... You know, when you gain weight quickly like that, it's hard sometimes for your, like, other parts of your body to keep up. Especially because, for me personally, I'm a very small person. I have a really hard time gaining weight. And I'm generally okay with gaining weight during pregnancy. Like, I didn't have a problem with it in my last pregnancy. I was able to gain a healthy amount of weight. And, you know, my baby was fine. She was small. She was really small. But she was totally fine. And that's because I think I'm just so small. My husband's also not, like, a huge person. He's, he's fairly small as well. So, we're just like small people who make small babies. <laughs> and so when I gain weight, personally, it's basically all in my belly. I know for some women, it's like more so they'll gain weight in their entire body. They'll gain weight in their legs, in their hips, in their belly, and you know, everywhere. For me, it's mostly my belly. My hips might get a little bit bigger and my boobs get bigger, you know, to prepare for breastfeeding. But it's mostly in my belly and so my legs just have a really hard time keeping up with it and then they get really really sore so that's kind of just how it works for my body everybody is different and every pregnancy is different like in this pregnancy I've noticed things have happened a lot sooner than in my previous pregnancy where like um, just kind of everything you know I felt to move sooner because I knew what it felt like I feel like I've gained you know, my my bump popped sooner because my uterus has grown a baby before, so it knows what it's doing. So it's just naturally bigger than it was before I got pregnant with my first baby. You know, I'm feeling things starting to get a little more loosey-goosey down there because, yeah, you know, I've already had a baby before. So my body is like, oh yeah, we remember this. We know what to do. We need to start preparing to push a baby out. Speaking of preparing, I've also had a ton of Braxton Hicks. My body, I have every single night pretty much just consistent Braxton Hicks. Um, most of the time they're not too painful. Sometimes they are a little bit. But yeah, it's kind of a constant for me. Just because my body knows what's up. It's like, hey, you know, we're getting close to the end. You need to get ready to have contractions and we're going to start preparing you. So, you know, it's, it's a good thing. It can be kind of annoying, but it's a good thing. My baby is doing great. He is, he is measuring small. I think I don't know if I mentioned that at the last one or not in my last video. I think I did. I think I mentioned that they said he was small and they were going to talk to me more about it at my appointment. Basically just, like I said before, 
we're small people who make small babies. My baby girl was born um, the day after her due date, so 40 weeks in a day, and she was only 5 pounds. She was 5 pounds 12 ounces. So that was, you know, a full term baby. She was just small. So this little guy is measuring small. I do have an ultrasound coming up here in like three weeks or four weeks where they're just going to look at him, make sure he's doing okay, make sure he's grown enough from the last ultrasound. And then if he hasn't, then, you know, we'll do whatever we need to do to try and help him along. I, I feel like he's grown because I have gained weight and feel like he's bigger <laughs> but I'm not too worried about it I'm just expecting him to be small so I think you know even if he is born at 40 weeks or after 40 weeks then I'm honestly expecting him to be in preemie clothes preemie diapers just because that's how it was with my daughter small people small people small babies so that's kind of where we are with him but he is he's a rock star um when I was in the hospital the other day my blood pressure dropped down to like 61. It was, it went from being at like 118, normal, I was totally fine, just tanked all of a sudden. I passed out. It was the whole thing. A ton of nurses came running in and they're all yelling at me. They're like, you have to stay awake. You have to look in my eyes. And I was like, okay, I'm sorry. Um, and I was totally fine. But it just was like a weird random thing that happened. But he was totally fine through all of it. He just was like, okay, <laughs> what are you doing, mom? <laughs> Chill out, dude. So... Yeah, he's, he's, he's looking great, and I think overall I'm feeling great. Mentally and emotionally, I am feeling a lot better than I was for the first and second trimester. My, the beginning, the whole first half of my pregnancy and a little after that was pretty rough on me emotionally and mentally, actually. I was, I was really struggling, and I don't think I talked about it in my last video or very much or in my first video because I think that I didn't realize how much I was struggling until I wasn't struggling anymore because now mentally and emotionally I'm feeling really really good but I was just having a hard time I really was I was feeling kind of depressed I was feeling pretty anxious and I didn't really talk to anybody about it I talked to my husband about it a little bit but I just kind of kept it in because I was like I'm I'm fine you know I need to just relax but honestly I was having a really hard time and I'm glad that I'm feeling a lot better now but, you know, if you're pregnant, you're postpartum, even if you're not, even if you're not pregnant or postpartum and you're just chilling and you are feeling like you're having a hard time, it's okay to talk to other people about it. I know it can be scary and for me, I didn't want to, I was like, I'm being dramatic. You know, I'm just, I'm just being dramatic. It's not a big deal. I'm just being dramatic. My feelings don't matter that much. It's okay. And that's just not the way that anybody should feel. And I want to be clear, no one made me feel that way. Like, you know my husband didn't make me feel that way or anything it's not like I felt like I couldn't talk to other people about it I just my own internal monologue was it's not that big of a deal I'm just being dramatic um and just you know that wasn't the case I wasn't just being dramatic I think a lot of it did have to do with my crazy hormones but it was also you know there's been a lot of changes in my life things were pretty stressful for a little while and there was just a lot going on and so I think it was it's okay for me to feel those feelings you know what I mean so, and it's okay for you to feel those feelings if you're feeling that way, you know, it, it is okay to talk to somebody, but I know it can be hard. But I'm feeling so much better now, and I'm feeling ready and excited to meet my baby. I, I'm not too nervous about, like, giving birth because I've done it before. Now I know what to expect. I am, I'm feeling ready. Mostly I just want time to speed up because I feel like up until this point in pregnancy, it was going by so fast. And now it feels so slow. Like, I knew that would happen once we got out of the holiday season. Because the whole holiday season was just a blur. You know, there's there's a ton of stuff going on. There's fun things to do. You know, you're getting ready for Christmas. And you have people over at your house all the time. And you're doing all these things. And so it went by really fast. And now all of a sudden it's January. And I'm like, oh, it's going so slow. <laughs> and I'm just ready for it to be March so I can have my baby. And so... Yeah, I just, I need to be patient, and I'm also trying to, I'm not trying to wish this time away because I don't want to wish away the, the last moments I have left with just my daughter, and I'm trying to make sure to really focus on her, and uh, that's been a goal of mine, like make sure that I'm not on my phone, stuff like that, and really play with her, focus on her, give all my attention to her, because 
you know, soon I'll have two kids to give attention to, which is a great thing, and I don't think that it will be bad for her to have a sibling, but I just want to soak up time with my girl while I can, while it's just her and me. That's where I'm at, and things have been going well, and I'm excited to have this baby. I am so ready to have a baby. Uh, I'm ready to not be pregnant anymore. I'm kind of tired of being pregnant. It feels like I've been pregnant for a long time because my babies are so close together. And so I'm just ready to, to not be pregnant, to be able to fit into my clothes correctly and comfortably. So that's kind of my update. I don't know how interested you guys are in these updates. I enjoy watching these types of videos when I'm pregnant or, you know, even when I'm not pregnant. It's it's fun to see other people's journeys and I am very grateful to be in this position. So yeah, I'll show you what my, my belly looks like. It's definitely popped a lot more in the past little while. So yeah, my belly has gotten a lot bigger, which is awesome. And he moves around like crazy and that's wonderful. And I am looking forward to the next steps in this journey. I don't think I'll do another pregnancy update. So my next update in this sphere of my YouTube channel will be when he's born. But there will be plenty of other videos in between now and then, so it's not like this is like my last video till he's born or something. I will be posting lots of other stuff. But when it comes to like pregnancy specific content, this is my last update about me. I'll probably make a what's in my hospital bag video just because those are fun. And I started packing it a little bit just because we had to go to the hospital already. So right now all I have in there is like toiletries. So if anything, we'll be clean. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you for caring. I'm very grateful. Very grateful to be here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.